Hi, I'm James Watts, and we're at St John's School, and we're bored, so we've decided to make a documentary. Today is a Monday, so there's chicken fricass house and rice, leek and cheese crumble, and the vegetarian option is sweet corn. I think that's a good menu. The theatre at St John's where we can see a lovely poster. You know, they've got advertisement for brill cream, tarantulas, radios, records, and even the War of the Worlds, which to me I don't think is actually worth commenting on. Because the film with Tom Cruise is really, really, really really bad. Mr. Cameraman, not if you think it's a bad film. That's what I'm talking about. It's a bad film. Yeah, we're going to see if we can gain entrance to a very sacred place here at St. John's. It's called the Pavilion. So let's go and see if we can find an entrance point. As we can see here, it's a very sacred site, they've got cookers, they've even got a new sink, it's, it's brilliant here. It's got everything you could want aside from a bed. Okay, we're now going to see if we can gain entrance and see if the gatekeeper will come and open the door. Okay, it doesn't seem to, as though he's easy here. This, an orange van, is making its total tech, it's making its escape now from St. John... Oh wait, I think it's seen us. Oh, it stopped. There are some people getting out. Yes, they have smiled. Okay, we're here back in the canteen. As you can see, they've been released from their cells. St. John's is not in fact a prison, but it's just more a holding ground for students. As you can see there, two teachers went by. They are in fact known as the guards of St. John's. We're going to try and get an interview now with one of the people here. So okay, we couldn't actually get a live interview with anyone. No one would do it. They all seem to run off. Something scary about Sound Man, apparently. But as you can see here, there are the different social minorities. We've got the Hill Group. It's nice to explain, but, um... The Hill Group stand by two small hills, as you can see them here. And yes, that was a midget. Harsh. Over here, we have the sporting people. Let, let's go in, see if we can get a closer look. Am I filming him? Yeah, still filming. <laughs> yeah. The voiceover in the background is our cameraman. He, he's a very nice man. Just, just don't worry about him. Here, here we can see the sporting lot. And you can see one of them is playing tennis. But they're all playing tennis, so, you know, it kind of defeats the object if one of them is playing tennis. As we, as we can see over here, we have the bike shed group. Yes, there's one of them waving at us now. Two of them, even. Yeah. And the bike shed group, they, they all seem to be a bit... They seem to like bins. As you can see, they're all crowding around a sacred icon. Save the camera. <laughs> As you can see there, we just had a ball try and hit the camera. We were a little bit worried there, so I stuck out my hand and it now really hurts. We are now here in the large common room of St. John's. At the moment it is deserted due to the fact that all the sick formers have been taken away for decontam decontamination. And yes, I can't say de decontamination without stuttering at least once. As you can see, over here, we have the jock area. This is the primary seating zone of the jocks. None of them are here at the moment, but this is their prime seating area because of the comfy sofa. Although over here, we can see a second comfy sofa with a pink folder, its own little bonus. Apparently it's not quite as comfy as the sofa over there, but we don't know why. 
over here we have the gambling part. Yes, the large common room has become a small casino in its later years. We don't quite know why it's become a casino. All we know is that the ringleader refused to give an interview today due to the fact he had bowel problems. Over here we have the gaming area, which contains an old cassette player, some bad games, an Xbox, and a TV that looks as though it's about to move. We're not too sure why, but we have heard it does grow legs during winter. Okay, we're now going to try and get a live interview with the decorating crew. We're apparently they're decorating the small common room. Admittedly, I don't think they're doing a brilliant job, but I, that's not for me to comment. Okay, here we are. Here is the lead decorator. His name is Max. Max, watch out the paint. You're in it. Max, You're in the paint. Please, can you tell us how you think today's decorating is going? Very well. We've actually almost nearly finished in one day. That's quite good. We just need to let them dry and do a second coat, really. Look at that. They've nearly finished in one day. I, I think that's I truly know. amazing. Two billion. Okay. Right. Okay. Here we are. We appear to be in what is known as a storage room. There's a very old painting. We think it's by some expressionist artist, but he's not actually come forward yet. There are bags, a copy of the Daily Mail. Yeah, I mean, this is truly exciting stuff for us here at St John's because we don't often get the chance to find a copy of the Daily Mail without a front cover. I, I think that is truly amazing these days. You know, I mean, on the page that is here, I assume that the front page has been stolen by some weirdo. We have a French film, or at least I think it's French. I'm not actually very bilingual. Pardon the pun. But apparently it's in cinemas now, so we're now giving this film its own promotion. Whatever it is, we're giving it a promotion. 